Hi, my name is Dave Butcher. Um, in this video we're going to cover making a simple test strip. Um, so I've got the uh, chemicals all made up. We're going to use this enlarger here, Devere 504. It's got a, a multigrade head. We're using multigrade paper and we're just going to do a series of steps of exposure. So let's go down to Safe Flight and uh, start the process. First thing to do, I've put the, the uh, negative in the enlarger, but the first thing to do is check the focus. Uh, I just use a grain magnifier. That's focused. And you need a piece of card that uh, light can't get through. We're going to put a sheet of paper in here. Uh, this is a paper easel. You just lift it up, put a sheet of paper under, and then cover it up uh, in steps. I've set the um, timer for the enlarger for two second steps. I know roughly where the exposure is going to be. The exposure that we need is somewhere in the range uh, covered by the steps that we're going to do here. If you have no idea um, or little idea what the exposure time is, then for each step the time should be doubled. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and uh, that you'll quickly home in on the rough area where you need to be. These are equal steps because we know roughly uh, what the, the uh, exposure time has to be. Right, turn the enlarger off and then get a piece of paper out. We're using 10 by 8 inch paper. And this paper is uh, Multigrade 4 resin coated, abbreviated to RC, and it's the pearl finish, which is the easiest to use. It doesn't show finger marks or reflect light as much as glossy, and it's got decent contrast and blacks, which matte papers haven't. Matte papers don't give a deep black, they give a dark grey. Okay, so we're going to do two second steps. There's one. Cover up about a fifth of the piece of paper. Two, three, four, five. And then we put the piece of paper into the developer to process. <coughs> I stopped the lens down to F11 and we're using grade two and a half. So two and a half is programmed into this uh, enlarger head. And now we have to do the process. So it's, that, that's as quick as it gets, really, for doing a test strip. Uh, you don't need to use a full sheet of paper. I've used right. it so that you can see what I'm doing, but you could use a, a little strip one or two inches wide, uh, and then you get several test strips out of a single sheet of paper. OK, so we're taking our piece of paper, putting it into... The developer, which is Ilford Multigrade, diluted 1 plus 9. Better start the clock. And straight away we can see the five steps of exposure. And we're going to leave it in here for a minute. You can use 1 plus 4 uh, for half a minute. You'll get the same result. Just, it just saves a bit of time. But it costs a bit more money because you use more developer. Right, that's uh, 50 seconds, so we take it out, give it 10 seconds to drain ish. It's just so that you don't contaminate the next chemistry with uh, too much developer carried over. This is stop bath, Ilford, Ilford stop. It's odourless, made of citric acid, and it's got a yellow colour to it. If it isn't yellow, don't use it because it's not working. <clears throat> it changes colour uh, the more paper that you process in it. And by the time it gets to colourless, it's not working, and it's definitely not working if it's gone purple. <clears throat> this is citric acid, so uh, that's lemon juice. So I don't mind putting my hands in, in lemon juice. There are tongs, so you can buy these things. Uh, these are plastic. Uh, the fixer is the, la the last tank, so the developer and the fixer are essential. You can't do without. Developer gives you your image, the fixer gives you light stability, so when you turn the lights on your print doesn't go black. 
Uh, this bath in the middle, the stock bath, is optional, um, but uh, it extends the life of the fixer. Uh, and the, the stock bath uh, chemistry, the concentrate, is cheap compared to fixer. So uh, if it extends the life and you've got a lot to do, it might be worth using a stock bath. You can't use water for a stock bath, otherwise uh, after the first print from the developer's gone in there, it, it changes to dilute developer. So it has to be slightly acid. So the fixer is Ilford High Pam. I've diluted it 1 plus 9, we're going to fix for a minute and we agitate, always agitate in all the, the uh, dishes um, to make sure that we get fresh chemistry moving around the print. Uh, fixer is made up in acetic acid, that, that's uh, vinegar. It's a bit like uh, a dish of vinegar with a few other stabilising salts in it. And again, it, it's not particularly hazardous. Um, but you just want to wash it off with water if you get it on your, on your skin. So here's the print. Just turn the room lights on. You can see we've got five steps. Um, two seconds, four seconds, six, eight, ten. And uh, one of these is uh, going to be close to what we need. So the first step you can see is too light. There's uh, no black in there at all. And the last step is too dark. It, there's no light area, no, nothing approaching white. So it's got to be one of these three, three steps in between. Got, uh, the second step has uh, dark grey, that's not quite black. So that's four seconds isn't quite enough. Um, six seconds, the, the light area, the, the uh, bright bit here in the water is nowhere near white. So that's a bit too much. So we need something between these two. So that, that's four seconds and six seconds. So we could do a print at five seconds. So that's actually what we're going to do. Um, if, you, uh, if your steps are quite wide, um, if you were using the other technique of doubling the steps and you had 16 seconds and 32 seconds and you want to check, then do another test strip with closer steps. So in that case you could do 16, 20, 24. So we're going to take uh, 5 seconds. So that print can go in the wash water. It will actually need about uh, 5 minutes to wash resin coated paper. Dry your hands uh, really well before you uh, think about doing another print and get, getting more paper out of the box because if you've got moisture on your hands to touch the surface of the paper, uh, you'll get a white mark on the print when you put it into the chemistry. It, it just will never catch up, it will never develop. So that's how you make a test strip from a single grade, the two grade two and a half, and then you take the, the information from the test strip and you make a print.